In order for a ship to conduct operations away from port for extended periods, a res or replenishment at sea must be conducted. This is achieved when a supply or auxiliary oil replenishment ship class, AOR, remains on a steady course and speed, while the other vessel, the receiving ship, maintains a station abeam at a distance of 24 to 36 meters. Once in station, the AOR passes gear required to commence the replenishment. The transfer can range from small store items to pallets of ammunition or barrels of fuel for the ship and its helicopter. The primary reference to be consulted prior to the replenishment operations with NATO countries is ATP-16 and provides background information and detailed procedures to support CFCD-105. This provides naval forces with a common knowledge base of RAS problems and capabilities. There are many types and methods of replenishment, but during this video we will concentrate on the liquid transfer abeam via probe. The abeam method involves the AOR supplying fueling hoses suspended from a span wire, shown here, with all wires being kept either under constant tension or as a slack rig, which is preferred by some allied countries. There are three types of fittings that may be used for transfer of distillate. The probe receiver assembly, the NATO B, and EBFC, or emergency breakaway fueling coupling. For aviation fuel, only the NATO standard F-44 coupling or Carter underwing type is to be used. Setting up the station. Common equipment required for setting up the station prior to the res should include gun line and projectiles, line throwing device, shot mats, hammer, fire axe, pry bar, chem lights, paddles and wands, easy note pendant, 12 inch snatch blocks, shepherd's crook, mail bags, remaining line, tag line, and temporary guardrail. For the safety of personnel, hard hats, goggles, knife and spike, safety belts, and hazardous duty life jackets, or HDLJs. PMLs, or personal marker lights, are to be employed at station during the evening. Once in station with the supply ship, the ship will each show a red paddle or wand to indicate they are ready to pass gear. If a receiving ship has a helicopter on deck, it will fire the gun line. Otherwise, the supply vessel will normally shoot. The station supervisor will sound one blast of the thunder whistle to indicate they are ready to pass the gun line, while the other vessel's station supervisor will sound two blasts of the whistle to indicate all personnel have taken cover and ready to receive the line. If the projectile misses, three blasts of the whistle will be sounded by the station supervisor receiving the shot and the sequence will start again. Personnel on station will include the following. The safety officer, signalman, station supervisor, after dump worker, rifleman, forward dump worker, and the engineer. After the gun line is successfully passed, the supply ship will attach it to the light messenger portion of the continuous messenger and signal to the receiving ship to heave it in. When the light messenger reaches the ship, the dump workers will attach it to the tag line pre-rigged through the blocks. The gun line then gets cut and cleared from the station and the line handlers will be ordered to take the line in hand. For safety reasons, the station supervisor will always order the dump workers to clear away from any rigging when no handling is needed. Direction for the handling of lines will be indicated by paddles used by the signalman on each station under the direction of the station supervisor. The line handlers will be ordered to heave the continuous messenger in hand over hand, and the last person on the line will coil the line in preparation for its return to the supply ship. If the distance line hasn't already been passed forward of the fueling position, it will arrive via the continuous messenger and will need to be removed by the dump workers and passed forward. The continuous messenger will continue to be heaved in by hand until enough of the heavy messenger portion is on board to correctly take three turns on the line handling winch. The continuous messenger is heaved in under power until the weak link on the span wire can be attached to the swivel arm. The temporary guardrail will need to be lowered prior to it arriving over the deck. 
The weak link is attached to the pelican hook on the swivel arm assembly by the dump worker, ensuring the bail of the pelican hook is pinned and wrapped with the mousing wire attached. The station supervisor clears the workers from the area and orders the line handlers to veer until the weight comes off the continuous messenger. The dump workers will then be ordered to cut the star knots or lashings or remove the mechanical grip, any of which could be provided depending on the supply ship's country of origin. The receiving ship, using paddles or wands, will show the hooked on to indicate the rigging is complete. At this point, the station supervisor must get permission from command before signaling the replenishment ship to tension down the span wire. The supervisor will also order all the station to down goggles and clear the area of personnel. The supply ship will send the probe to the receiving ship, either by gravity, seating the probe automatically, or by ordering the receiving ship to continue heaving in on the messenger line until seated. Two indicator flags located on the top of the fueling bell will raise once the probe is seated. If done correctly, the forward and aft dump worker will report this to the station supervisor. The supervisor will pass the hooked on to the supply ship via the signalman. Depending on the supply ship, she may run a rig in tension or a slack rig. A remaining line, if not already attached to the probe, will be placed on the line handling winch and given sufficient slack. Should the probe become unseated, it can be heaved in and reseated. After fuel begins flowing, the forward dump worker will rig the easing out pinnet. If a secondary commodity is to be passed from the supply ship, such as JP5 or water, the dump workers will remove the hose from below the fueling probe and attach it. While this is happening, the line handlers are removing the heavy messenger portion of the continuous messenger and attaching it to the recovery line for return to the supply ship. Direction is given to the supply ship to heave in on the recovery messenger with the appropriate signal via paddles or wands. Control of the separate commodities and lines are done by using the signalman. For example, if increased pumping pressure is required for distillate, the signalman points forward to the bridge before showing the signal and if a change is needed for the JP5 pumping rate, the signalman would point to the hanger. Colored paddles and wands are also used. Red alone is used to indicate an order for a line, while green alone indicates an order for fuel. Combined, the signalman can pass the order for hooked on or secure. As fueling gets close to completion, signals indicating warnings for five, three, and one minute remaining are passed from the receiving ship prior to the signal for stop pumping. The temporary guardrail will be lowered and the probe will be released by the forward dump worker. When the station supervisor receives permission from command to detention, he will clear the area of personnel and have the signal to do so passed to the tanker. The dump worker will be ordered back into position to man the easing out pennant and to slip the span wire. The supply ship takes control by ordering the receiving ship to stand by to slip. The receiving ship will show ready to slip after the dump worker has removed the mousing and the pin, placing the hammer on the bail of the pelican hook. The supply ship will order the slip and the dump worker on the receiving ship trips the pelican hook with the hammer, immediately clearing the area. The forward dump worker uses the easing out pennant to allow the span wire to pass over the side without causing damage to the ship or equipment. The supply ship will recover her rig and the receiving ship will return any remaining lines prior to departing the supply ship.